Trent at Overtime Garage working some overtime and behind me is a drum brake setup off of a 92S10 which uh, are the same from like 82 to 2001 happens to be on my old classic 55 Chevy and so many of these drum brake setups are the same and if you've got uh, some maintenance to do on these I was going to pull this apart and let you have a look. So if your brakes are off, your emergency brake is off, your drum should slide off fairly easily. I've already had these off so came off easier. Now let me zoom you in here. You can see you got uh, two springs here on the top. Um, this is just a straight piece of wire. It's a hanger for the uh, e-brake there. And then underneath, you've got another spring right there. you got a adjuster uh, for holding these brakes out at a certain position. So, um, that's this guy here that's hanging on to it, but then that adjusts as this thing clicks out. So, uh, let's see here. There's a uh, important spring here and here. That holds the shoes on, and those are some of the first ones we're going to take off. We're going to use this uh, spring kit that we got along with our brake shoes. I think we're 30 bucks on the shoes and five bucks on the spring kit. I've got these kind of laid out in the same way I showed you on the uh, brake itself. So you got a longer version, a shorter version up top. And they're colored to kind of help you see it. Uh, these two are on the edge. I should have two yellow springs, but since I don't, I'm using one of my old ones. Uh, I think this bag was opened and short, one of those springs. Uh, these are the two pieces that go on top of those springs. There's a plug for the back. This is that spring underneath. This goes to uh, this e-brake, or uh, so, sorry, self-adjusting arm there. And this goes to the e-brake which is on the back side and once I tear this apart you can see it but it's right there and then there's the brake piston uh, for your normal stopping power there okay now I'm going to take this one apart uh, while you're watching and I'll use this tool here a brake plier tool. I'm going to actually use this end here to take the top springs off. And if you can see that uh, there's a little bit of a profile to it. I'm going to use that on this first one. I'm going to turn it clockwise and that'll get underneath the spring and pop that free. that out. And I'm going to do the same thing here but I'm going to go counterclockwise since there's a little hook right here. So it takes the top other top spring off. And then um, take this um, adjuster leg free right after I take these two hold down springs out. Just gonna use pliers and hold the back pin while I turn this. Push in and turn.
take this out. See, it's just uh, got the spring here, and then this. Uh, here just slips in there so we're going to reuse this but the other parts we have new versions of this comes free take the other hold down spring off Uh, spring pliers to take off the bottom spring. So I'm going to use the hook to get down around the hook and then on this side there's a rivet which you use to hang on to. And then I'll take the shoes completely off. See how that e brake bracket was wedged in there. This is the adjuster. And then there's one more part hidden back here. It's the uh, adjuster arm for the upper side of the shoes. Got a new spring here. Check the brake cylinder, make sure it's not leaking. And then reassemble. Before I put it back together, I use some of this Seal Glide brake lubricant. And I'll use it on these contact points here where the pads touch. There's three on this side and three on this side. And then anywhere that uh, the brakes make contact, metal parts on metal parts. I'll keep the brake squeaking down. Okay, now we're putting uh, this thing back together and I'm going to start putting this back where it was. So you can see the orientation of that, the spring on the forward side. There's a notch here that goes against the inner part of the wheel. I'm just going to set it right there. And see that I put the adjuster and the re return spring together. So that kind of holds these two together. And then I'm going to hook up the emergency brake bracket lever, whatever you want to call it to the back. Okay, I just put on the uh, first spring. I used this uh, hook portion of the brake pliers and I set it on there and then just tied it up on. I'll show you how the white spring works. Put that in 
one first and then slide it underneath. And the last thing I'm going to do is put the retainer lever in there. And this has to go behind the wheel spindle and has to hook. All right, we got it all put back together. And the last thing I was doing here was putting this adjuster bracket in. It's hooked down here around the adjuster. And it's got a new spring and then the retainer that's kind of tough to get aligned and pushed in there and then get this uh, re retainer spring in place but plus with it enough and it'll it'll work so yeah we got her all back together and uh, we backed it off enough then uh, this should slide right over the brake pads so we know uh, new new pads but uh, back backed off the adjuster so that should work there's a quick look at a rear drum brake